In this video, we're going to be discussing what causes diesel engine oil to turn so dark so quickly. Hey, so today we're going to be discussing why diesel engine oil turns black so quickly compared to, say, gasoline engine oil. When I was a teenager and not mechanically inclined, and my father, who's never been mechanically inclined, bought a diesel tractor. After running it a few days, he noticed that the engine oil was really, really dark, and he thought something was wrong. And me not knowing what I know now, I thought something was wrong as well. And it turns out that black engine oil in a diesel engine is fairly normal. But why is that? Obviously, there's a design or operational difference between diesel and gasoline that causes the engine oil to turn dark quickly. Now, diesels have many differences between gasoline engines, one being the fuel, one being much higher compression ratios. Diesels typically run turbochargers opposed to gasolines, which do not, although some do, but it's more common that they do not. So something's different, and what it is is soot. Now, gasoline does produce soot as well. However, it is much less than a diesel engine, and the reason is gasoline and the air that it is ignited with is typically mixed before it enters the combustion chamber, whereas diesel is injected directly into the combustion chamber at the point of combustion. So under varying conditions, such as at idle, when the engine's not up to full operating temperature, uh, quick RPM changes, if you're running a rich condition, meaning let's say you have a plugged air filter or your engine is not at boost, or you have a overfueling injector, or you have hot rodded injectors, you're going to be getting more black exhaust smoke. Now, almost all that smoke goes out the exhaust. If you've seen an older diesel engine, you know what I'm talking about. If you've seen an exhaust leak, you know what I'm talking about. But a small percentage of that gets past the piston rings. And why is that? Well, this is a piston ring. Do you see the gap? Okay. Most pistons have three rings, and these gaps will allow a small amount of combustion gases and exhaust to pass through them into the engine. Now, this is known as blow-by, and the amount of blow-by is a good determination of how your engine's operating. But if you're producing lots of soot, say long idle times, overfueling injectors, um, rich conditions, you're going to get carbon, soot, into your oil. Now, this is normal. And you may be thinking, oh, well, newer diesel engines, you don't see black exhaust smoke. Well, that doesn't mean they're not producing soot. It just means that there's something called a DPF that is catching the soot, which stands for diesel particulate filter. Now, this is catching the soot that the engine is releasing and not allowing it to come out the exhaust, but it does not prevent the soot getting past the rings and into your crankcase. Now, newer engines will produce, on average, a little less soot, and this has to do with more advanced combustion processes as well as high-pressure common rail fuel systems, which will operate a little more efficiently. Now, is this soot bad for your engine? In high amounts, yes. So if your engine has very high amounts of blow-by, the soot can actually get to a point where it starts plugging your oil filter and you'll see reduced oil pressures. However, the soot molecules are very small. They're 0.3 microns on average. So that is incredibly small, much smaller than the size of, let's say, a dust particle or human hair. So on average, you're never going to see damage from the soot particles. But over time, they can accumulate to the point where that oil needs to be changed. So since it takes a while to accumulate, you might be wondering, why after an oil change, is the engine oil black almost instantly? Well, when you do an oil change, even if you do the filter and the oil, there's still a lot of oil in your system. You may not realize that. So even if you drain the pan, there's still oil in the pan. Ask me, I pulled a lot of oil pans. I've never had one come off, and it's fully empty. But it might not be a lot. So what else contains oil when you drain your oil? Well, your oil galleys do. So you have your, your main oil galley. Your crankshaft has oil in it. Your camshaft, um, well, your camshaft doesn't contain oil, but the bearings in the oil galley to it do. 
There's oil in the recesses in the head, in the rocker arm shafts. Your oil cooler holds a lot of oil. The air compressor will hold oil. Um, just a lot of places where that oil is going to sit. You can have up to a gallon of oil still in your system. And that engine oil with the soot will contaminate the new oil and make it look dark very quickly. That does not mean the oil is bad, however. It just has the appearance of older oil quicker. And there's not a lot you can do with this about this without changing components, so don't worry about it. Also, soot is almost like a dye. Um, anyone that wears white undershirts like me and works in this field will notice that no matter what you do, if you get engine oil on your shirts, you can wash them with bleach, um, wash them with hot water, that does not come out. And a very small amount will make your clean engine oil look dirty. It's not, it's just a property of the soot, it's almost like a dye, okay? Hope you enjoyed the video, if you did, like and subscribe, thank you.